You are now listening to the Highly Evolved Podcast with your host, Safan. Transmission will commence momentarily. How are you guys doing? This is the Highly Evolved Podcast. My name is Safan. You can find me on Twitter and get that AI. Let's start the show. But before I start, I just want to say if you're SJW socialist Marxist communist, please exit the channel. And on that note, let's begin. On this episode, I want to talk about what the, what Bernie Sanders had to have said about inmate voting during a ta- town hall meeting on CNN. Right? He said that well, uh, uh, was that a person, a woman, asked him, like, do he want to? Said said that Bernie Sanders in the past said he support that inmate to vote, and she was grilling him that if he do still support this, do he do he support the Boston bomber voting, or or convicted child rapists or people who kill people voting? And then when Bernie asked, he he took a long time. He was beating around the bushes. When it comes to him to answer the question, he said yes. Right, this is a real big problem because you know he think that. And when you're in prison, your rights are automatically taken away from you, right? Your rights from going out in the public, your rights from saying, your rights from um, doing freedom things, you know what I'm saying? It's within, it encompassed within the 13th Amendment, right? That's That said that once you're in prison, that means you're, you're subjected to slavery conditions, right? It's a form of punishment, right? Outside of the jail cell, the penitentiary, Slavery cannot exist, but only inside of jail. That's why you're able to work for less than a slave wages in prison. to work pennies on the dollars, right? That's why you can do hard labor in prison, pick up trash, hitting rocks, right? That's prison and jail is the only place where you are able to do these kind of things, right? And he want to give them the freedom, the privilege to vote, right? So basically he's saying that he want inmates or convicts to vote and that's it he don't want, he want them to vote which is very troubling because he would rather back up inmates than he would with law abiding citizen for example the gun issue right he want t- law abiding citizen protect them take them take the gun away from them right but yet again he want inmates to vote how's that logical that's that makes sense so basically he's saying that he would rather protect the interests of inmates than he would we would protecting the interests of law abiding citizens. Alright. This is a typical ploy that Democrats are using, especially Bernie Sanders are using, right? To gain votes, to gain vote a new voting block. Well he don't understand that if you're an inmate, the last thing they worry about I'm not saying they don't vote, they don't want they want to vote, but the last thing they want they do that they do is voting. Alright, these people are unconditioned people who don't care about Civility, right? What makes you think they participate in a civi- a civil thing like voting, right? He's just buying a new voting block. He need voting block. That's the thing with the de- democratic strategy is they're not based on issues and policies, which they have terrible, by the way, right? Terrible policy limits inmates to vote, right? But that's how they that's how they get voters. They get, they they appeal to people because of who they are, identity politics. That's how they run things, right? They identified you as uh, identity and not on their policy. Because, po- I, like I mentioned before, their policy sucks. right? So they had to do all these things, try to appease them, give them, mon- give them money, give them all these stuff, right? And they want them to vote. Yet again, they want them to vote. They want inmates to vote, but again, they don't want them to have ID. So there's more corruptions, right? They don't want voters' ID. Right? Which is baffling to me. Like, you want inmates... See, this is why we want voter ID, to protect people from not supposed to... For people who are not supposed to vote to vote, all right. And Bernie Sanders is he's, he's, he's backtracking on his answers and all this stuff. I mean, you gotta be you have to be stupid not to see through what Bernie Sanders is doing. They're they're desperate. They're very desperate. They try to get all these one black. Oh, you're African. Okay, we'll give you reparation. Oh, you're Hispanic. Oh, we'll give you um amnesty. Oh. What your your ethnic group? You're a different this. You're that 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 that. Oh, we'll give you this. We'll give you this. We'll try to give you this. They're, they're making promises they can't keep. All right. Look at Donald Trump. You see how hard of a tough time for him to implement his agenda. What make you think if these Democrats in, in the office? What make you think that their their agenda get pushed through as well? Right. It's gonna be hard for them to push this 
pushed through. They're making all these empty promises. At least Donald Trump are are delivering on most of his promises. All right? Barack Obama couldn't even do that. All right? So he, they're saying all these stuff to make it, oh, to make it a fat. They say all this fa- fantasy stuff, right? It's pure fantasy. It's, it's not going to come to fruition. Right? They say, we're going to give you this, we're going to give you that, we're going to give you this, that, 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 that. Uh, I think they're allowed, to, they're allowed to vote. But again, when, I, for God forbid, if they ever take office, when they do get in office, they're going to break all type of promises, especially Bernie Sanders, right? He want inmates to vote, right? He want to take guns away from law-abiding citizens. He want, as Benny again, he want to protect inmates. What is, this, what is it in his best interest? Right? This is not a popular idea. People don't believe that. People believe that your punishment your punishment from creating crimes like a felony is to take your rights away like that, right? They won't take your guns, he won't take your guns, but he won't he won't give voting rights to inmates. And he wants them to be voting in jail, right? He wants these people like the Boston Bombers, terrorists, if they're for for instance like John Walker, this ter this terrorist or whatever his name is. Went to join the Taliban and, and now he's about to be released. So what? He He's going to get the right to vote? Huh? Our enemy. Our enemy could be domestic too. They could be citizens and they betray us. Should they get the right to vote as well? No, they betrayed us. Their, their, their premise should be taken away from them. It's ridiculous. Bernie Sanders is a joke. Does geriatric have lost touch? He's saying this for votes. Don't don't buy him, right? Don't buy what he said. He said all this. This doesn't make any sense, right? When you're in jail, it's a punishment. That's what you do. If you commit a crime, it's a punishment for for them to take away your privilege of voting, right? It's your punishment, all right? And if you want, and if you want some kind of solidarity, you have to. Work your way back up there. I'm not saying to give them back their voting rights, right? But you have to prove whether you're uh, you're rehabilitated, right? But I think it's an awful idea, in my opinion, giving inmates the right to vote. I mean, this is, you did the crime, I had to do the time, meaning that you have to, your rights going to be taken away from you. You already know what comes come with this. You choose to do these crimes, all right? And you can't vote within prison. That sounds ridiculous. That sounds like, oh my God, that's so stupid, right? Bernie Sanders and the Democratic idea. Their ideas are terrible, right? It's just, it's just dumb, giving the inmates to vote. So basically, all these terrorists in our country, they get the right to vote to, to get the right to dictate what our policy is, right? It doesn't make any sense. But let me know how you agree. You think inmates should vote? You think inmates should be granted the right to vote again? You think you agree with Bernie Sanders? All right, let me know you agree. Once again, I'm not monetized. I'm demonetized. That means I'm not bound by any outside interferences. That means I'm unscripted, unrehearsed, unedited. If you if you like what I do and want to support, you can find me on social media. Follow me on social media via Twitter and Gap.ai. Or hit the like and subscribe button. And on that note, guys, let me know you agree. This is the Highly Ball Podcast. My name is Safan, and I'll see you guys in the next broadcast. And on that note, guys, peace.